And now, presenting the field for the 29th Bayakoa. Number one is Peggy Thompson's Chance to Shine. Chris Hartman is the trainer, and the jockey is Ken Towhill. Number two is Fairfellow Farms Limited's Another Broad. Steve Asmussen is the trainer, and the jockey is Joel Rosario. Number three is the Winchell Thoroughbreds, Thomas J. Ryman's, William Dixon and Deborah A. Easter's Finite. Steve Asmussen is the trainer, and the jockey is Ricardo Santana, Jr. Number four is Brereton C. Jones's Istan Council. Larry Jones is the trainer, and the jockey is Joe Talamo. Number five is LBD Stable and David Ingordo's Our Super Freak. Cherie DeVoe is the trainer, and the jockey is David Cohen. And number six is Monomoy Girl. Owned by Spendthrift Farm, My Horse Race, MyRacehorse.com, and Matacat Stables. Brad Cox is the trainer, and the jockey is Florent Cheroux. They're off. Perfect start. Chance to Shine broke well. Our super freak, finite between horses. Monomoy Girl is into the bit early. She will be no better than three or four wide at the clubhouse turn as finite has the lead. Monomoy Girl is outside of our super freak, and she sits third at this point from Istan Council. Chance to Shine is taken back, and the trailer is another broad as they turn into the backstretch in the 29th running of the Bayakoa, and finite will be the leader. It is finite, just a length in front of our super freak in second. Two-time champion, Monomoy Girl sits in third. She's in the clear and less than two from the front. Then is Stan Cancel and Chance to Shine. They've got three and a half to make up. Another broad is the trailer midway on the backstretch. Easy lead today for Finite. Finite goes past the half mile pole. A half length in front of our super freak. Monomoy Girl is perfectly placed. Florent Giroux has her third and now less than two from the front. Is Stan Cancel Council is at the rail. Chance to Shine is about to be joined and passed by another broad. They leave the backstretch. No change in the top three. Now less than three furlongs from the money. Finite is ahead in front. Our Super Freak is second. Monomoy Girl is still a length and a half back in third. She's in the clear and pushed along just a bit by Florent Giroux. Here's Monomoy Girl on the outside of Our Super Freak. Our Super Freak has the lead, but now Monomoy Girl storms to the front and suddenly in the blink of an eye is three or three and a half in front. Finite and Our Super Freak are left in the wake of one of racing's all-time greats. Yet another display of excellence. Monomoy Girl wins the ball. Bayakoa. Monomoy Girl beat our super freak. Finite and chance to shine. And now, returning to the winner's circle, the winner of the 29th running of the Bayakoa, scoring her 14th victory from 16 lifetime starts. She is now over $4.5 million in career earnings, a two-time Eclipse Award winning champion, Monomoy Girl and jockey Florent Giroux. Monomoy Girl is owned by Spendthrift Farm, MyRacehorse.com, and Matacat Stables. Brad Cox is the trainer. Running time, 1 minute, 45 and 4 fifth seconds. In the winner's circle to present the trophy for the 29th running of the Mayakoa are Michael and Barbara Thornton. Here with winning trainer Brad Cox, who sent out Monomoy Girl to victory in today's grade three Bayakoa. A great job, Brad, by jockey Florent Giroux. First of all, I want to say thank you for bringing her here to Oaklawn because the paddock was packed with people and 
a lot of fan moments were here. I fangirled in the paddock. <laughs> Goosebumps coming down the lane. I know you've said that you get really nervous when she gets ready to race. How nervous were you today? And are you ready to be at ease now? <laughs> yeah, no, she, you know, the, the pressure's off for the time being. Uh, you know, she ran, she, she, she ran, she ran big, uh, just, uh, you know, very proud of her. Uh, you know, a little bit of an odd circumstances with so many, you know, the riders trying to stay off the inside. She was kind of out in the middle of the track and uh, Florent went to working on her a little bit earlier than normal, but, uh, you know, she was able to, you know, punch on down the lane and, and finished up well, very proud of her. I mean, performance. Such an amazing effort. Still a, a really solid group, though, that she did have to face. Is the plan to kind of go back to fairgrounds, keep training, and then come back for Apple Blossom? Yeah, for the time being, we'll ship back down, you know, just to kind of make sure, you know, clear clear the weather right now. <laughs> just so much <laughs> wet weather here right now. But that, that's the plan. And then, uh, uh, you know, we'll talk it over Spinthrift, but that's kind of been the short-term goal is the, uh, the, the Apple Blossom here in the spring. Well, congratulations again, and, and thank you for bringing her to Oak Lawn. And hopefully for Apple Blossom, we'll have some sunny skies. Yeah, maybe some more people. So, <laughs> yeah, thanks, Nancy. I appreciate it. All right, congratulations, and uh, congratulations on a good day as well. Thank you.